Megger presents Integrated Cable Fault Location with the E-Tray Product Family. For low voltage tasks, we recommend the Easy Thump in the 3 or 4 kV version. For medium voltage applications, you should use the 12 kV version. The Smart Thumps family, which has up to 30 kV, covers the upper voltage range for medium voltage cables. Today, we are closing the gap between low voltage and medium voltage with the M Thump 5. It is a toolbox for fault identification, pre location, and pinpointing tasks. Who benefits from it? Electrical contractors, service providers, utilities, industrial plants, PV plant operators, refineries, railways. On which cables can you work with? On cables with a main insulation made of XLPE, EPR, PILC, MIND, and PVC. At the low voltage level and medium voltage level up to 6.6 kV. And which faults can I find with it? High resistance faults, low resistance faults, earth faults. With the M Thump, you get nine fault locating methods in one box. With fault identification, you tell apart and identify different types of faults. With the fault prelocation methods, you get a distance to the fault and learn where best to start pinpointing. The last step is fault pinpointing, where you discover the exact position of the fault down to 0.1 to 0.2 square meters. The nine fault location methods in detail. First, the DC breakdown detection and proof test. Second, the insulation resistance readout. Third, the DC burning. Fourth, the cable radar inclusive phase comparison. Fifth, the arc reflection with inductive arm filter including best picture multi-shot. Sixth, the arm live burning method. Seventh, current decoupling. Eighth, main insulation high resistance faults by surging thumping with up to 1000 joules at up to 5 kV. Ninth, Pinpointing of earth faults by voltage gradient method, for example, for low voltage earth faults or medium voltage sheath faults. The eTray software offers one common user interface for all nine different fault locating methods and the same identical interface for all eTray products. If you can master one, you can master them all. Let's watch the entire workflow with its pull through sequence. Turn the security key operated switch on. The system boots after you have pressed the power switch. Select and confirm the DC high pot test. Select the voltage set point for the DC high pot test. Set the duration of the test with the previously selected voltage. Ready to test. Confirm the high voltage initiation with the green button. You can abort the building of high voltage with the red button or the rotary knob. The voltage has flashed over at 2 kV. Confirm with the rotary knob and the pre-location will start. The device automatically recognizes the cable end. The TDR has measured the cable end and the length. Now you obtain the fault distance. Select the voltage set point for the arm pre-location. Ready for measurement. Confirm the high voltage initiation with the green button. You can abort the building of high voltage with the red button or the rotary knob. The unit has been energized and is building high voltage. The unit released the HV surge and the flashover at the fault was captured. In the graphic, you can see the distance to the cable fault. Now, the pinpointing begins. Select the voltage set point for surging, also known as thumping. Adjust the break between the surges. Ready for surging. Confirm the high voltage initiation with the green button. You can stop the surging process with the red button or the rotary knob.
After the fault has been successfully pinpointed using the Digiphone Plus 2, the automatic workflow is completed. The eTray product family, your best choice for easy to use, fast, smart, and autonomous cable fault location.